Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Newegg Now. If you're familiar with drones, then I'm sure you've already heard of Dajiang Innovations, more commonly known as DJI. After all, their drone products account for more than half of the market. And if you've been paying attention, then you've probably also already heard of the very popular DJI Mavic Air 2. Today, we're going to take a look at the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone fly more combo set, including a closer look at its specs. All right, first off, let's take the drone and its controller out of this shoulder bag that comes with the Fly More Combo. So here comes the Mavic drone. I'll just lay that down here. Here is the remote control. Okay, first off, the camera. Now, the Mavic Air 2 comes equipped with a half-inch CMOS sensor. It captures impressive 48 MP photos and records 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. Oh, if you're new to HDR, that means each captured frame has different exposure levels in different areas, accurately capturing all of the light and dark details of a subject and settings with a high dynamic range. The captured images are then automatically layered up, combining images from a wide dynamic range to form a clear and precise finished picture. The Mavic Air 2 has impressive HDR video capabilities that are one of its major highlights, made possible by its high-performance quad buyer image sensor. The Mavic Air 2 also offers DJI's advanced panorama mode with a higher dynamic range as well as colors that are vivid and incredibly accurate. So all that footage comes out smoothly thanks to its three-axis camera gimbal. The OcuSync 2.0 system ensures stable video transmission up to 6.2 miles, delivering a 1080p 30 frames per second live stream straight from the drone's camera. Video capture is made almost effortless thanks to the Focus Track feature. Focus Track is a collection of intelligent tracking modes, including Active Track 3.0 which will allow the drone to track and follow its subject while also avoiding obstacles smoothly. Spotlight 2.0 will keep the subject in the center of the camera and Point of Interest 3.0, which will allow the drone to circle a subject as its center point. These features allow you to automate the tricky stuff and focus on your storytelling and composition instead. All you have to do is always keep your eyes on the drone for safety. The Mavic Air 2 also supports hyperlapse in 8K, which will let you warp time and space for some pretty amazing results without any time-consuming post-processing work. Select your mode from free mode, circle, course lock, and waypoint. Then select the shooting location and the DJI Fly app will do the rest for you. The DJI Fly app also integrates the editing suite experience DJI users will know from the DJI Mimo app. Here, you'll have access to a range of adjustable manual settings, some advanced functions, and quick and easy templates to shoot creative and professional-looking compositions in mere seconds. So, how does the drone actually fly? The Air 2 has a maximum flight speed of up to 42 miles per hour in sport mode and perceives its environment in three different directions, forward, backward, and downward. It has an auxiliary light, which improves visibility in low-light settings, and obstacle avoidance to help ensure a safer flight. Obstacle avoidance performance and automatic flight planning on the Air 2 are better than ever. The Advanced Pilot Assistance System 3.0 utilizes an advanced mapping technology for smooth following and reliable obstacle avoidance in complex scenarios. The newly designed remote controller features an ergonomic design for a great grip feel and boasts its own battery life of 240 minutes. There's also a handy clamp on top of the remote controller so that you can easily attach your smartphone running the DJI Fly app. Finally, why upgrade to the Fly More combo? Well, let's look at all the extras that it comes with. First off, two extra batteries, each with an approximate life of 34 minutes. It also comes with this new battery charging hub and ND filters. This ND filter set has three different filters for 16, 64, and 256, handy for adjusting shutter speed and recording in extreme lighting conditions. Also included in the set, your standard drone set will come with some extra propellers, but the Fly More combo comes with a bunch of extras. That's one, two, three, four, five, six more propellers there. So you can swap those out. Those are, of course, low noise propellers 
to swap out just in case. It also comes with this, a handy shoulder bag to carry the drone itself and all these accessories together. So the fly more combo, all these extras making flying easier and more enjoyable than ever. So that's our look at the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone fly more combo set now available at newegg.com. It's a standout offering from DJI's great line of camera drones. Check out the product link below and head over to newegg.com to find deals on laptops, hardware, and other accessories. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, bringing you the best products for the best prices. Super excited to introduce to you the Aoster Motor S07B electric bike today. As you can see, I've already got it assembled in front of me. It comes 90% pre-assembled in the box already, all parts carefully packaged and protected. In the box, you get the e-bike, battery charger, toolkit, and user manual. If you're in the market for an electric bike, you already know prices can go from 500 bucks all the way up to $8,000. Pretty exorbitant prices out there. So why buy an electric bike anyway? With an e-bike, you get to combine the benefits of a traditional bicycle with the added benefits of easily climbing hills or fighting the wind. Those can make cycling quite a drag. <laughs> if you have joint pain or asthma, an e-bike can allow you to experience the joy of cycling without being in pain. Get you back out there enjoying nature, either in solitude or with friends and family. The Aoster Motor S07B is an awesome model on more of the budget end of the spectrum yet still delivering many of the great perks that the expensive bikes deliver. Let's get into it. Okay, from the outside working in, the S07B uses a strong and lightweight aluminum alloy frame suitable for users of height 5'4", up to 6'5", and up to about 300 pounds. It's equipped with a front light, a rear reflector, front and rear disc brakes, Shimano Outer 7 speed derailleur. You get a switch for a shock absorber, all right? Suitable for more complex terrain, keeping you comfy no matter where you are, very good. Let's talk motor and battery. Aoster Motor gives you a 750 watt, high speed brushless motor and removable lithium battery right here. Strong, strong driving force, long endurance. This battery is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour lithium battery. Can you guess what speed you can achieve with this motor and battery combo? Many e-bikes out there can't top 20 miles per hour. So the fact that this one can do 20 miles per hour is pretty good. Just kidding. You get a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Charge the battery in four to six hours and you're going to get 30 to 43 miles of distance out of just one charge. The variance will depend, of course, on the amount of hills and your speed. But this is more than enough power for a regular daily commute, grocery run, or just enjoying a quick frolic around nature. And also, that's only if you're using e-bike mode, all right? You get three modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. You can obviously use it as a regular bike, so you can get far more distance out of the bike if you were going to conserve a little bit of power along the way, right? Maybe pedal yourself along level terrain and then use the e-bike mode just to climb hills. All right, one charge will last you a super long time that way. All right, so quick recap so far. Aluminum alloy frame, suitable for users 5'4 to 6'5, less than 300 pounds. Charge the removable battery in four to six hours. Get 30 to 43 miles out of one charge, speeds up to 25 miles per hour, and three working modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. Let's check out these fat tires. All right, this is pretty insane. 26 by four inch fat tires, giving you incredible traction. You'll have absolutely no problem cruising over beach, snow, gravel, rain, dirt, sand, even ice, all right? Suitable for all terrain. I don't care if you're in Alaska, Death Valley, Machu Picchu, riding in the snow or on a beach, your journey is only limited by your imagination, and it is not limited by these tires. Moving over to the display, you've got an SW LCD display. They even give you a USB port under the meter to charge your phone 
while you're traveling. Imagine that. If you've got headphones or a Bluetooth headset on, you're riding along, streaming music, listening to an audiobook, or even on a conference call on the way to work, arrive at your destination, phone still fully charged. It's, it's those little things in life, right? So nice. And that's pretty much everything I can impart about this bicycle without you riding it yourself. It's definitely a great long-term investment. Riding an e-bike can save a lot on transportation costs. It's good for the environment. It's great for your body, for your mental health. You can use the bike traditionally without power for a full workout or use e-bike mode and pedal assist to get up those tough hills, work through strong winds, or if you struggle with joint pain or asthma. This could be a great gift for anyone who fits that description as well. Pro tip, when assembling, first attach the handlebars, flip the bike over, and install the tire, all right? That'll make the process very easy. You'll also want to loosen the bolts near the discs uh, at the tires before attaching them, all right? So, uh, so yeah, Aosto Motor has thought of a lot here. They give you a strong, durable frame, amazing tires, built for any terrain and weather conditions. You've got the lights, the brakes, the LCD with phone charging port. Really all that's left is just to get out there and have fun. Let us know what you think about this bike in the reviews and comments. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. The Aoster Motor S07B electric bike. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to New Egg Now. Furniture is important, not just for comfort, but for facilitating greatness. I mean, for a really good gaming experience, it's not just about what's inside your PC, you're also going to need the right desk, and we've got one for you here today. Today, we're looking at the Vitesse 63-inch gaming desk. First off, as you can see, it's a good size, 63 inches long by 29 and a half inches wide. That's an extra large desktop area with this mouse pad that covers about half the surface. This also means your keyboard and mouse will sit at an even height on your desktop. So this desk is sturdy. It's constructed with a premium density fiber board material and a coated steel frame holds it up. Its weight limit is reported at 250 pounds, so you won't have to worry about additional monitors or desktop accessories warping or breaking the desk. Its T-shaped design and four leveling feet down below keep it on an even keel. Additional features, it has a gaming handle rack, four charging ports, and it will let you charge a phone, iPad, headphones while you're using your PC. It has a PVC laminated surface with the aforementioned mouse pad as well. It also features a handy cup holder and a hook on the other side to hold your headphones. So that's our look at the Vitesse 63 inch gaming desk. Get a nice looking centerpiece for your setup with this sturdy desk by checking out the product link in the description down below. For other desks, laptops, gaming accessories and gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech and I'll see you in the next one. What's up eggheads, Kenan here with Newegg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. Does your outdoor wireless network kind of stink, dead spots, short range? Has rain, snow, or extreme heat destroyed your router? If you need a way to expand your outdoor network, either for your business offices or for your home or both, you're in the right place. I've got the Wavelink Outdoor Wi-Fi Extender. Let's get it out of the box and take a look. Okay, here's everything in the box. A power cord, PoE converter, RJ45 cable, some screws, two zip ties, got a quick start guide, warranty card, four antennas that I've already attached to the main course, the outdoor Wi-Fi extender. Okay, really solid construction, and I mean really solid construction. This industry-leading hardware ensures that the extender can be deployed in a wide variety of environments, withstanding broad ranges of humidity and temperature. That's gonna be minus 22 Fahrenheit to 158 Fahrenheit. That's crazy. It'll withstand harsh outdoor climates, 
It's IP65 rated. That's for weatherproof housing components that can endure extreme cold, heat, or continuous moisture. Really robust hardware. All right, so we know it'll survive, but what will it do for us? The Wavelink Outdoor Wi-Fi Extender is designed for WISP CPE solutions and long-distance wireless network solutions. This Wi-Fi extender features up to 1,000 milliwatts of wireless transmission power and has a built-in 4x7 dBi detachable omnidirectional antenna. All right, this provides an efficient way to pick up and maintain a stable signal for hundreds of yards of wireless network connection. Independent high power amplifiers make for significantly increased power output up to five times transmission power. This is going to enhance existing Wi-Fi coverage, allow you to get that Wi-Fi anywhere, eliminate those annoying dead zones. All right. And while this is working, the LNA, the low noise amplifier, is designed to minimize additional noise and increase the power of the signal. All of that sounds great, but I just want high speed internet. What speeds do I get? Okay, super fast wireless performance. You've got MT7620A plus 7612E dual MTK chips to ensure stable performance. It has 802.11ac tech. The extender operates on both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz simultaneously. That's 150 megabits per second and 860 megabits per second, respectively, meaning up to 1200 megabits per second. Different devices can connect simultaneously across dual bands, making this the ideal scenario for streaming HD videos, online gaming, or other simultaneous bandwidth intensive tasks. With the high power amplification and the four omnidirectional antennas with dual frequency bands, internet is just everywhere in the open air. You're insured to access the internet when you're walking around the home, if you've got a cafe outside your business, or if your school or university uh, wants to extend coverage around a soccer field, football field, etc. It's really easy to install even in those types of large outdoor areas because this one has integrated power over internet support. You can install this in areas where power outlets aren't readily available. That's so nice. And depending on your needs, depending on the complexity of your mission, you can switch between four different modes, AP mode, router mode, repeater mode, and WISP mode. AP mode, or access point, is going to convert a wired network to a wireless network, which allows you to connect laptops, tablets, phones, or other Wi-Fi devices. Router mode creates an instant private wireless network and shares internet to multiple Wi-Fi devices. Repeater mode extends Wi-Fi coverage of an existing wireless network. And finally, WISP mode transmits Wi-Fi from one point to another point. And that's pretty much it, everyone. It's going to be very easy to install. I mean, it's designed to be an effective solution for outdoor wireless networking. So yeah, they've made it simple to use. With its centralized management platform and high degree of flexibility, it's the ideal choice for providing point-to-point, point-to-multipoint, and outdoor Wi-Fi coverage. You'll attach the external antennas like so. You'll find some fixed pole and any other similar object outside. You'll thread the zip ties through these holes here. All right, thread the zip ties through the holes like so. Okay, and then you'll just wrap the whole kit around the object to which you want to attach the extender. All right, then using the PoE converter and power adapter, you can turn it on. There's a very clear set of instructions in the quick start guide to get you connected, no problem. And with all of that, you'll have high powered, long distance, omnidirectional, dual band coverage up to 1200 megabits per second with an extreme weatherproof unit. All right. Get your whole family connected outside and around the house with ease. Stream movies by the pool. Keep all your guests at the restaurant happy and connected outdoors. The possibilities are almost endless with the Wavelink Outdoor Wi-Fi Extender. For current prices, please check the description or click the link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. What's up, Eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. Everyone needs a good webcam these days. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Video conferencing from home, video calling friends from afar, and the built-in laptop cameras just don't cut it. Even on MacBook Pros, built-in webcams might only be 720p. 
it's gonna be hard to make a good impression on a bad camera where you're looking all fuzzy compared to everyone else. You need to upgrade, especially if you're using Zoom for work, Twitch for gaming, recording for YouTube, etc. I've got an awesome webcam for you right here, the Full HD Tro Pro 1080p webcam. Let's open the box. Okay, this is everything you get, an instruction manual. Nice and thin instruction manual, that's how you know it's easy to use. All right, a mini tripod, that's a great touch, a mini tripod. And of course, the Tro Pro 1080p webcam itself, all right? This is a 30 FPS webcam. This one gives you wide angle capability up to 110 degrees. That's what I call a wide shot, baby. Let me show you, there's this privacy cover. All right, so they do include a privacy cover. That is very, very good. Uh, this webcam has facial enhancement technology to automatically optimize your image. It boasts a built-in stereo and noise canceling microphone, eliminating unwanted noise, capturing sound within about five meters or 15 feet. That's a great range, all right? This is perfect for a conferencing experience or streaming to your many, many fans. It's super easy to set up, no drivers, no downloads. Just use this versatile clip to easily secure it onto any laptop screen or TV or monitor. Notice there's also a thin layer of soft padding on the clip here. That's gonna keep your devices from getting scratched. Very, very good. You can also mount it on your desk with the mini tripod that's included. So if you're working with a desktop computer or if you don't want something attached to your laptop screen, Tro Pro has you covered. And just another comment, I did mention that privacy cover. Okay, that's obviously for when you're not using the webcam. <laughs> they can't see you when it's like this. Uh, but you know, to, for extra security and extra safety, when you don't have a video camera streaming application engaged, you can use the privacy cover just for that extra protection. Okay, right now I'm going to plug in with the USB cord and we are going to take a look. All right, so I have plugged it in. Let's take a look. Hello. <laughs> this was so easy. All I did was plug in the USB, no drivers, no downloads. Let's take a look over here. Whoops, I'm doing too many things. Here we go. <laughs> okay, hello, there we are. It is just that easy. No drivers, no downloads. I right, just plug it in and you're good to go. It's compatible with Windows 10, 8, 8.1, 7, XP, Linux. It's, it's good for Skype, streaming, teleconference, and video chat. All right, they give you so many options in such a tiny package at such an affordable price. Oh, what's going on with these companies? It's like a total giveaway. We need good webcams these days, all right? We need high definition 1080p. We need it to be easy to use. Also, you've got that privacy screen. So if you don't have the camera application booted up, bam, no one can see what's going on, right? So get yourself a true, safe, full HD 1080p webcam. Okay, we need to better prepare ourselves for the quickly evolving digital world. Help yourself create those income streams, working from home on YouTube, Twitch, video conferencing, etc. Higher quality video, higher quality sound will get you there. This webcam is truly great. My dear eggheads, the Tro Pro 1080p full HD webcam. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. Hey there, eggheads. How are you? Kenan here, one of your hosts for Newegg Now, bringing you the best products for the best prices. In this one, we are looking at the Vantrue N2 Pro dash cam. Why do we need a dash cam? Well, obviously, everyone here at Newegg wishes that no one gets into a car accident, but if it happens, having the footage will save so many headaches. It's a great insurance policy. You know, if there's ever a hit and run, or if someone changes their story with the insurance company about what happened, you can arm yourself with the truth and make sure no one takes advantage of you in a situation that's already hard enough. All right, this dash cam is really awesome, and it's got a lot of features, all right? So let's dive right in. 
first things first, the unpackaging. All right, inside the box, you're gonna get a quick start guide, user manual, warranty card, a car charger with a mini built-in USB cable, a three foot USB data cable, and the suction cup mount for the windshield. And of course, the Vantru N2 Pro dash cam itself, all right? One of the best things about this dash cam is the dual facing camera. All right, so here is of course the front facing camera. This is gonna point out on the street. And here is the cabin facing camera right here. All right, and it can also rotate, check that out. The, the rear facing camera can rotate. So depending on the height of the driver, you can make your adjustments accordingly. All right, so we're able to simultaneously record what's happening in front of the car and what's happening inside the cabin. The dual recording gives you 1920 by 1080p at 30 frames per second. That's 1080p in both directions at the same time. All right, if you record just out the front, you can get up to 2.5K at 30 FPS, or you can even do 1080p at 60 FPS. So you get nearly 360 degree protection. All right, the front facing camera is a 170 degree angle lens. The rear facing one is a 140 degree lens and rotatable by 80 degrees. All right, so in just one camera body, the N2 Pro captures front and back in wide angle and the in-picture display on the screen actually shows both front and rear camera footage simultaneously. Let me power this up with a USB connection so we can see that in action. So as you can see, we are able to see what is happening in the front and back simultaneously. Both are in 1080p. The rear facing camera is showing right now in the upper left and the rest from the front facing camera is showing on the right. So you get full protection on the go. And if you're a taxi driver or rideshare driver, this rear facing camera can help you stay at ease knowing that all activity in the cabin is on camera. If you ever have a troublesome client, it can be useful to have the evidence you need to support your business. All right, the Vantru N2 Pro also has super night vision because you've got an f1.8 six glass lens in the front facing cam with the unique HDR video system that automatically balances light and dark areas of the video, while you've also got an f2.0 six glass lens for the rear facing cam plus four infrared LED lights greatly enhancing night vision in the car in low light, making you drive much safer at night. All right, right now I'm gonna turn the lights off and show you what the night vision looks like. All right, everyone, check this out. So I have turned off the lights in my studio. I have blacked out the windows. And as you can see on this screen, I can still see everything really, really clear as day. All right, check that out. So that is awesome. All right, now I have my lights back on. That was very difficult. I truly blacked out all my windows, uh, but it's good to know that the camera will see adequately in the dark, all right? And these infrared lights can be set to on, auto on or off, or just off. If you have it set to auto, that means that when low light conditions are detected, the infrared LEDs will automatically turn on to support rear image recording, offering you and passengers a higher level of in-car safety. All right, this is especially useful for taxi drivers or rideshare drivers, I think. Now, if you're in the city, shuttling clients around after they drink or as people are partying, that's typically when the unruliest of clientele can appear. All right, so it's really good to know that this works well in low light. Uh, just a side note, by the way, footage recorded with infrared LED will be a bit of a purple tint in the daytime and be at grayscale at night. Now with this dash cam, you also get audio recording as well. There's a built-in mic and speaker to capture high quality audio without distortion. If you don't want to record voice, you can turn the microphone off. All right, this can be accessed in the menu. I'll show you that here. You access the menu by pressing this M button here. All right, we press the M button. And then we can go to record setup. We can hit OK. I toggled down to audio recording. Hit OK. And I can turn that right off. Okay. 
All right, some of the primary features on the dash cam. There's loop recording. So the camera will start up and begin recording automatically when you turn the ignition. Loop recording saves space, all right? So if you have it set to three minutes, for example, it will record three minutes and then overwrite what was just recorded. It supports a micro SD card up to 256 gigabytes. Uh, there is a critical event G sensor, otherwise known as a gravity sensor, all right? So it's gonna sense if there has been a collision and protects the current video from being overwritten. You can set the G sensor to be activated either at low, medium, or high impact. It's set to medium by default. There's also a parking monitor. The dash cam will enter parking mode when there hasn't been motion detected in the front camera for five minutes. However, for parking mode, you need a constant power supply either from an external battery pack or by hard wiring it. But this is a fantastic feature because we all know that a lot of accidents happen while you're not even in your car. Sometimes people can bump into the car and just drive away. With this, you'll catch them. Some other secondary functions are, for instance, the time lapse. It'll automatically take photos at specified intervals and then edit them together into a video clip so they'll play much faster in real time. This could be a really cool added bonus for something like a family road trip. You could set it to take a photo every once in a while and then in the end, have a really cool time-lapse video of the whole journey. You've also got optional GPS for you to track the driving route, location, and speed. To use the GPS function, please buy an extra N2 Pro GPS mount. There's also the date and timestamp for the video, which is especially useful if you need to use your video for uh, some sort of evidence. Pro tip, ensure that the date and time are accurate when you install the camera. All right, so a few words of advice with this. There's no HDMI output. Uh, also, before using the dash cam, please format your SD card in the camera. You're gonna wanna check the user manual to learn how to use the different modes and functions, and please always keep the dash cam plugged in, or it's gonna keep telling you to connect power. Uh, if you drive multiple vehicles, you may consider buying an extra windshield mount. You know, this way, you'll have the mount and the wiring set up in all of your cars, and you'll just have to unplug and replug the dash cam into whichever car you're driving. All right, that was a lot, but it was super rewarding. A high definition dash cam with front and rear facing camera, 1080p simultaneous video in both directions, day or night, a G-force sensor to automatically detect an accident and keep your video safe, motion detector that turns on parking mode automatically, audio recording for inside the cabin, use it in almost all weather conditions, negative four to 158 Fahrenheit. Most importantly, give yourself and your passengers a sense of security and simply enjoy the drive. For specific prices, please check the description or click the link below. Thanks everyone, I'm Kenan. This has been New Egg Now, and now you know.